you are watching Killing Time with Carl. Yes, Satana. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, are we on? Are we on? Are we on? Yeah. Are we on? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, hello, Carl. Just here to ask you some questions. Right? Yeah. Um, okay, so just background about myself, right? Mm. So, when I was younger, I used to, you know, be in art school. I used to play music, etc. And then I kind of discovered the more extreme versions of metal. And I mean, like, I liked it. But then, you know, like, when your friends hear it, they're like, oh, what the is this? Yeah. Like, it just screams, why are you attracted to mm. it? So, like, I've always just wanted to know, like, how and why people get into this kind of music. And I'm not talking about, like, I mean, I'm sure you know, like, like the very, like, radio, like, Metallica kind of stuff. But, like, what draws people and how did you get drawn to this particular genre? I think, to begin with, right, what happened is that the in individual, I think, like myself, right, I have to put myself as an example. I want to be away from the norms, the, the mm. normal. So, I want to be different. Like when come to why not Metallica and everything, but I think everybody start from there. Mm. Then after that, as 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 as, as times goes by, you some kind of discover or you want to discover new things. That's where you you somehow rather you go to the extreme, then you want to discover more. Yeah. So, but if that that kind of thing was a comp contemporary or temporary stuff for you, you will stop there. Mm. But if you go along, you get hooked to it. That's where most of the people. Most of the people, the reason why they listen to metal is or they got hooked to metal because they want to be different from the normal, mm. from normal friends they have. Yeah. And 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 uh, uh, because they have any, the age factor also, mm. because you want something new and aggression. You yeah. have a lot of things inside you that you want to sh show it, show it. I mean, you want to uh, express like express out. I so see. metal, I mean, is a way of a medium for them to 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 make themselves into the, the music lah. Yeah. Mm. So like when you started, you know, listening like. I'm quite sure like your parents might not have liked it. Like yeah, they, what, what kind of what kind of stuff did they say, you know? Oh basically back then uh the the best part was what my parents is that they was there to buy for me. They was there to actually uh, paid for my uh, my my shirts. Oh. But they did not know what I want to buy. They do not know what I'm buying now. What I was what I was into until that some some of the pet, uh, my aunties were like making comments like my shirts got look like a devil kind of thing, imagery stuff. Yeah. So that's why she kept notice of my my kin on me. So there's point of time where she confiscated all my shirts. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's okay. times, there's times. Yeah. But, but because that was in, I was in my primary school days. I see. Back then. So then after that, along the way, I convinced her that I, it's not what she sees. She, she sees right. So it's, so there's one period of time I got this shirt. That side shirt is a uh, the medallion of the red eyes. So I, I convinced her that I'm going to marker the eyes in 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 <laughs> in, in black. So I did marker, but I used uh, temporary marker, mm. not permanent marker. Yeah. So after wash, the thing will be red. So yeah, parents-wise, obviously they are. I think I don't blame the parents because of the the artwork that we have, the the way that the music was. They don't understand. Mm. Normal people don't understand what what mm. they, they what they hear is only always noise. Yeah. But to us, we, we appreciate every beats and and, and mm. pieces of the music. Yeah. Yeah, it's about the the, the extremeness of the music. Yes, which is exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Wait. So I'm just like curious, right? So like when you first started getting into the more extreme part of it, right? Were you ever like afraid of like for example, like the satanic imagery, lah. Cause you know, like the Norwegian black metal. Like when I first saw it, then they was like, oh, they burn churches, and I was like, oh yeah. my god, but uh -huh. cool. Okay, sorry, no, 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 it's not cool to burn churches. <laughs> but like, I was like, okay, that's interesting, you know. But like, how did you like when you found out about that? What was your first reaction? I I don't I okay, when when the black metal saga things happen, right? Like we say the church burning yeah. and everything. I, I I was still in okay. What happens is that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a late bloomer in black metal. Ah, I see. I was still in the death metal era when people listening to black metal. I still listen to death metal. I see. So everybody was like into black metal. So when I came to technically like black metal, the love for black metal is a bit late. I see. When the Norwegian thing is happening, I still into my death metal world. I see. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't affect me so much. If you're talking about about imaginary, about satanism, uh, I doesn't for me uh, for me myself, right? I have this uh, my own thing like uh, I don't like to become a slave or satanically like to something. Yeah. Right. Because. We ourselves have for our own devilish part of ourselves. True. Sure. Yeah. yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. So, so I, why should I actually indulge myself into that kind of Im imaginary and stuff? Yeah. yeah. So I, 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 and it never crossed my mind that I one day I'm going to like, okay, like worship the devil and stuff. So never. Yeah. Yeah. It always for me it's always about the music more than rather than 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 the image. The, the image yeah. 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 So is it like? Um, so I just wondering, are you are you personally religious? Like, I sensitive. You don't have to answer. No, no, I'm I'm fine with it. I mean, I mean, yeah. uh, religious come like it, it come in a proportion. Like, 
Mm. If you say I'm religious, completely 100% religious, I'm not. Okay. But I follow. But I me, mean, most people are not 100%. Like, yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. If you're 100%, people. you won't listen to metal, yeah, 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 pretty much. So, right. pretty much, uh, everybody, I mean, you have to, I'm to say in words, like, I have my own style of uh, doing dealing things with things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get it, I get it. Yeah. yeah. So I have my own. Everybody have every individual have the rights to 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 have their own individual path path to yeah. to do things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So like, what made you, you know, like um, what made you join a band, for example, like you know, like you know, like you stick a listening. You just want to like what, recreate the sound, or do you want to? Uh something about me is like yeah. if they can do what. I always did this drive. If they can do it, why I don't? Why can I? Okay, I see. So that's where the craving because uh, technically coming in Singapore in the nineties, we have nothing yeah. much to do. Yeah. Like we don't have video games. We have video games, but we don't have like YouTube and stuff. So it's either you you into sports mm. or you do something. Like that's why you have some activity for yourself. Because or else your weekend will be dull. Okay. You have nothing much to do. That's true. Yeah. Right, nothing much to do in the yeah. weekend back then. I mean nothing. So playing in a band make you active and at the same time, yeah. uh, the love for me playing instruments. Playing instruments. Yeah, okay. I, I I adore instrument during watching. I mean, I've I've I've. Uh, I want to what to say it. Uh, I can say to you that I was my love to music because I watch yeah, movies, Hindustan movie, the mm. the Bollywood, yeah. not Hollywood, the Bollywood. Yeah. 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 Because I I was grown up in that kind of family. I see. Yeah, okay, my family. Yeah. yeah, my my grandmother will always watch Bollywood movie. Then I saw guitars and everything from there. Okay. Drums and tabla and stuff. Yeah. Mm. So that's how you got into music. Yeah, yeah, I told myself that when I grow up, I'm going to do. I want to do that. I want to play that guitar. Yeah. But then I don't know it's guitar. I want to play that mu- instrument. I see. I yeah. see. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So like, um, you also organized some shows, right? Mm. Like last time and things like that. Um, do you, are you going to do another one? Are you gonna... like, like what I say earlier on when we was chatting. Yeah. Uh, I always. I'm the guy who always say no, but after that I will do. Do okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe not in a very short period of time. Maybe in a long period of time later. Yeah. Uh, I, I, the depending is like because I have my needs also. My yeah. my main focus like the band like I say I'm recording the the album then the fourth album and then the COVID came in for two years then we have nothing. I only managed to play one shows and I believe that the album need deserve uh, uh, mm. justice for me to actually go out and promote i never get to promote so much oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it, it's been uh, sitting dark in my storeroom mm. the, the albums yeah okay i definitely come for the show <laughs> <laughs> it was good it was good that is not hard yeah yeah nice. thank yeah, you yeah. thank you it was really good so like when you started up this store right um like did you have an idea of what your customers would be and has the idea changed like you know like a certain profile like what kind of like okay i start the sh- the shop yeah. in 2002 but i was not here so i was a beach road 2002. I was it was a share com. Uh, I was share store. Then uh, in 2002. Was it in a shop house? So uh, beach there yeah, over here. But was it like in a shop house? Then there was like a second open area on top, like. I think that one is store. Ignite. I think you was okay, talking about. Well, well, okay, so my exactly. one was yeah. beach. Uh, beach road the the hawker center. Okay. The, the, on the okay. Nah, floor. definitely. Yeah, the army market. So yeah. then after that, this is my fourth shop. Mm. The fourth shop that we came here. So it was from there. Then we moved to Golden Mine Complex for Golden Mine Complex. I have two store. Then I came here. I came here. Then uh, during the MP3 era, mm-hmm. not much people buying music and stuff. Yeah. I I stopped for a while. Yeah. I stopped for more than 10 years maybe. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, but what I do is that I still keep on selling to the, my so-called hardcore uh, customer. Okay. St- the, those people still buying from me. Then I stopped shop. MP3 was in. Then uh, just 10 years ago. So 2012, uh, I start having uh, the store again by chance, by chance. Like I say, like it, it's the same like the shows, because yeah. back then when I stop having a store, I tell myself I'm not going to have store anymore. Music yeah. is dying, so yeah. I just doing on on on, uh, on not online on uh, physical meetup on yeah, my yeah. back. That's how I start out in the beginning. Mm. So because I start out in 1998, okay, in school mm-hmm. during my school days, I start the business without knowing it was a business by doing by selling to friends. I see. But, but without knowing it was a business actually. I know I don't know that was business. Yeah. Like you buy in bulk, then you just charge your friend extra two dollars. No, my friend buy from me. He said, "Hey, send me your shirt." So I I sold him. Okay, okay. So from there, I keep on, I doing it without realizing that was business. Okay. Yeah. Then after a while, when I go to the when I went uh, went to the army, NS, the same thing happened. So my platoon mate, whatever, want to buy metal stuff for me. Then after that, when I finish my NS, I tell myself what I want to do. Mm-hmm. 
what I'm going to do my, for my future. Yeah. So that's where Soko technically, I say, hey, I think I can do whatever I'm doing back then. A business. Yeah. I see. Without knowing it's business still. Okay. okay. Until today, I, I don't think it's this is business. Why not? Why not? Ah, uh, because it never run in my blood that this is business. Like, okay. it's like I do things for passion. Not only, not only metal. Uh, whenever I go to the gym, I train people. I don't charge. Okay. I'm not really a trainer, but because of the many years that I've been training, I yeah. know what what is good, what is not good. Mm. What, something I so I help here and there, but I, did, I still don't find it. I want to charge people. I just go because I love doing it. Mm. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay. Yeah. So this is not work to you. This is no, 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 not at all. Not at all. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Nothing. Wow. Yeah, that's why mm, I I last this long. Like, maybe that's the the secret. I cannot say uh, that's the secret about this this shop. Yeah. Because this shop is more like a community center. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we have people from different walk of life coming here. We don't even do we do. We don't only talk about metal. Here. We talk about life. We talk about a lot of things, work. Yeah. Uh, a lot of a lot of family stuff also. It's more like a community. This is like a hub lah for me. Hub. For you. Hub. More like hub yeah. than, than than community center. A hub. A hub. A hub. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. People good coming place. like we have people like yourself coming here. People like helping. We are more like giving out, helping out. You know, okay. in every means that we can. We can like people need help. Hey, I need to do this for me for my assignment yourself. Sorry to say, yes. so the sm- small boys, the scout boy. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I would rather do that. But okay, I see. Yeah, to give to give in to the committee. Okay, I Whatever see. I can, yeah. Oh wow. Okay, so like, what would you say your most common customer looks like? Like the most of the time, who is walking through the doors? I'm just very curious. <laughs> We have people like okay today is like back then. As a metal head, right? Who listen to metal? I mean, basically, yeah, technically, like they will come with a metal shirt. I see. So back then, back then. Back but then. today, I'm, 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 I'm already used to it. People like yourself or yeah. whatever you saw just now came in. Mm-hmm. Although it was his father and stuff, but yeah. people who don't wear metal but they come here with a uh, metal, I mean, metal background. Yeah. Yeah, I have, I have like the oldest. I think 70, 60, 70 years old wow. uncle. I thought he was just like coming here just to just to browse just to see things. just to see where what what is this. But when he opened his mouth, he like he said those bands, you be like, huh? <laughs> Then he be like, you seen yeah, I've collected. I come here to buy. I saw your shop. I said wow. So oh. every day, different kind of people. It just surprised me today. Yeah. Back then you can see a metal head came in wearing metal shirt. You know it's a metal. Head. But today when people come in, no, even just now I thought it was like. Yeah. By by chance, saw the shop. It was like I yeah. see my see a lot of surprise element. Sometimes yeah. I sometimes it's so overwhelming, right? I don't know how to accept. Wow. <laughs> ah yeah yeah really I don't know how to accept. I I there's a lot of time that I cannot I don't know how to accept the 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 the, 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 the their their reasoning of coming here. How they came came to know the shop and yeah. it, it just like every day is like a surprise after surprise. Yeah yeah, experience yeah yeah. Okay, the wow. vibe that I have here uh, today. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Okay, so like, I just ask my like, final question because I asked you most of the questions that like wanted to ask. Um, you got a favorite band of any? Favorite band of all time? Oh, Angel Corps, one of it, and I managed to host their show in Singapore. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, when was when was the show? Oh, them. Uh, twenty seventeen. Oh, okay. Twenty sixteen. Eh. Twenty sorry. Twenty seventeen or eighteen? I forget. So yeah, it's a it's a long time favorite band, mm-hmm. uh, long time favorite individual in the band. There, there was him anyway, the one with me oh, taking wow. photo. Okay, yeah. So yeah, that was me in Germany uh, making deals with him. Like I want him to come over here. Yeah. So I when whenever I do shows, right, 99% of the artists that I bring here is the, those that I met them before. Mm. It's not that internet. internet I mean like emailing. Friends. I want to be no. Most of the band I met them personally. Yeah. I convinced them that come to Singapore and uh, I want to host your show. Mm. I rather do that rather than than band that are unknown to me and I just by random I don't like. I rather that approach them. I know who they are. Then I know how their character is. I I analyze it from there. Then only I will like. Are they in, good enough to come in Singapore? Or else, uh, if you bring Singapore and that, I'm not talking about rowdiness. I'm talking about if they can't behave here. I assume it's trouble for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So favorite yeah. band and the cops one of them. I got they side. They side with uh they they side yeah with uh. Angel Corp, they say Mobile Angel, all time. Oh, I see. I just want to. I, I hear the name, but I never listen to the songs. Yeah, so Sep- no, Sepultura. Yeah. Sepultura. Okay, that one. That yeah, because one I'm more, I'm, I'm more leaning towards the death metal. The death the, metal. The, rather than the black metal. Black metal. I see. Okay. Yeah, although that I play Black Death or Death Black. 
But mm. my my music mostly leaning to death metal rather than. Uh, why why do you prefer black a uh, death metal to black? The aggression. Okay, I see. Because uh, when playing live, uh, black metal yeah, there's aggression black metal, but uh, death metal have more punch in. Punch lah, yeah. Yeah, the punch and the, the drumming is more more bassy and stuff. Mm, okay. Uh, black metal is yeah, black metal is there, but black metal a bit subtle. Yeah lah. More atmospheric. Yeah, atmospheric. Yeah, yeah, it's more about atmospheric. Death yeah. metal is uh, the dynamic. Okay. The whole dynamic of the music that made me yeah. Uh, made you into it. Yeah. Okay. That's all I need to ask for you. Like actually, <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's sure. Sure. Interview. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. By the way. Okay. Anyway. Uh. But uh. How how you came to know the store? No, cause when I was younger, right? Like so, like um. Okay. Like I. I find it very hard to call myself a metal hit, even like, though I like metal, because you know, like I'm not like part, like I never like you know wear the shirts and everything, you know. But I I like listening to the music. It's mm. still one of my favorite genres. Mm-hmm. But I had some friends who are very into metal, and then they talked about uh, Ravish Records. They did they, they like people like this. They said, oh yeah, they the the store host is this show is hosted by Ravish Records. I was like, okay, interesting. And then um the other one CD shop lah. It's not really like so specialized into metal. Mm. So that's how I learned about the store. And then that day like um. We're supposed to basically do a project in school on subcultures, and mm. I thought like, okay, actually like there's quite a big, you know, like extreme metal community in Singapore, and then the teacher said, okay, I like, find out why people like this thing, and I said, okay lah. Then I just thought the best person to ask is probably you lah. Oh, yeah. so you already sign, you already submit your whatever you want to do. No, no, I just had an idea. I was like, oh, that's actually very interesting, cause you know when I was young, I I you also like this kind of music, so I'm also like wondering why other people like this kind of music. Yeah, sure. You know, so then. Then I was like thinking back, oh, all my knowledge, because I lost touch with a lot of those friends. Like they went overseas, or like they just literally disappeared. I don't know where they went. Mm-hmm. So then, like, um, I was just thinking back to it, and I was like, oh yeah, this Ravage Records. Then I like Google. Then I saw like your face, and I was like, oh, he looks nice. Then I just go interview him. Yeah, like, he looks cool and interesting. So just interview lor. Yeah, try my luck. You know. Try your luck, ah. Try my luck. Yeah, that's how I, I learned about the store. Yeah. That's how you email email me. Email you lah, cause I just I thought like okay, he looks cool, he looks nice. Like it'll be good to talk to him, you know. Yeah, he looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah lah, yeah lah. Okay lah. It was it, I can. It, he looked cool. He looked nice. Recently only. Recently. <laughs> like, yeah. What do you used to look like? What do you? Because ah, uh, I'm I'm not a uh, easily approachable person. Really. Yeah, I was shaved back then. Shave, oh. shave. I have those. I have those look like not approachable, but. When you know me, I'm I, I'm not I'm opposite of whatever you have. Ah, uh, yeah. But honestly, I find that way about most metal like fans. Like last time, like it's like they look like very like wow, you know like. Not then people ask me like, how are you going to interview these people? And I'm like, I'm quite sure they'll be very nice, lah. Honestly, like I don't think like you know it's just a stereotype that they're like. Yeah, exactly, They're probably yeah, normal yeah. also, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm. I also like metal. Last time, I'm very normal. You know, like you won't yes. even think I am one. Like, I like this kind of music. Yes, exactly. You know that kind of shit. But there, like, there is like, some lah. Yeah. I mean, not not many, but some. Some lah. I'm sure. I just grown my hair like two years only. Two years only. Yeah. Yeah. After after like, uh, I told my I told myself that I need to grow my hair yeah. because uh, we living in a social media era, the yeah. age of social media. So I think that I need to. After the Facebook live, and I did, you know. Yeah. Then uh. I need to do something like like, you know, when I when I'm on stage and off the stage, right? It's two different person, two different car. Mm. And on stage, uh, I I I don't care about my surrounding, and my aggression is always focused on the music. So when I am on off stage, I'm a normal person. Mm. So when I have long hair and I have short hair, make a lot of difference. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm more comedy. I'm more. I jokes a lot. Yeah. I do jokes, but when I it's just like. I, I, in a package lah, uh. you know. If I, I'm so fear, suddenly I make stupid jokes. <laughs> people cannot, 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 cannot brain. People, yeah, people just cannot digest. Like he's so fear, he make kind of joke. So when I have this kind of uh, looks, right, like, mm. easy for me. I see. Everything so relevant. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, uh, it don't feel awkward for me to to do that. Yeah. I see. I see. Yeah. That's that's one of the thing when whenever people tell me back then people like I scared to go to shop. <laughs> like, so fear, you know. No? Not easy to talk to him, lah. What you say is quite true, but if it was five years ago, that's not. I make that statement. Yeah. People make that statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when people make that statement, it 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 hooks on me. Like, oh, am I that fierce? <laughs> Now, yeah. Even if I go to the gym, mm. whenever people are using the machines, yeah. excuse me, my friend will go, bro, Carl. He say two more sets, lah. Then I go and ask. <laughs> says, bro, uh, how many more sets? Oh, finish already. <laughs> No, no, no. That kind of process. So, uh, it's a. It, I, I've tested and proven so many mm. years. I've been going to the gym. Okay. But today, when I have this hair, right? Yeah. Wow, 
I having hard time in the gym. They hard time in the gym. They don't take you seriously. Yes, exactly. Yeah, 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 not scared. Yeah, not scared. Yeah, that kind of rule. So, but yeah, it's it's good lah. I mean, I think both lah positive. I think everything is positive, never mm. negative for me. So, okay, it's a learning process for me today. Like something new, I like something new. Okay. Like keeping long hair, you have to shampoo, you have to. Back then, so you balding, you don't need, you don't need to worry about conditioner. You just, yeah, timing mm. wise, yeah. So anyway, nice of you lah. I mean, you come here, you learn a bit about me. But do you do, like do your homework before you came here? Like. Oh yeah, I did. I did my homework, <laughs> but just don't wanna ask you stuff that's on online lah. It's okay. <laughs> but I did. I did my homework lah. I mean, I have, I know of like the store and like things like yeah, that. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's because it's nice of you because you watch the 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 scout boy and stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course I did my homework, yeah. Okay. And then like that yesterday, I was like, oh shit, I'm meeting the metal people tomorrow. Then I like go on my phone. Then I'm like, oh, all the old songs I used to listen to. Then I play, play, play. Then my mom was like, what the hell is this? I was like, you don't understand. Keep on. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, what the hell is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I was still like, you judge me, but I don't know anything. So I went to go listen, listen again. Yeah. yeah. So as, as I say, as long whatever benefits you for for whatever your future have, I don't mind helping. I mean, beyond yeah. in 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 in. in, in Uh, in between my means, like whatever I can help. Yeah. That's what I do to the scout boy and yeah. anybody, anybody else. Like I say, yeah. every towards April to June, I have people from uh, various s- students coming here yeah. for their school project, end of the year project, last year project, this project. So mm. as much as I can, I, I, I will cater to these people. Okay, I see. And I, I'm also quite surprised that still got people who want to interview things about metal. Yeah, la, la. I mean, I think there will always be, la, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe less now lah, but I feel like will you know like music waves will come up again. Yeah, it is coming out. It's speaking up. Like yeah. I say, the resurgence of cassette tapes is coming out. So yeah, that's why I, the the I I last this long to for me to see the transition of 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 music mm. and uh, people. Like okay. back then, I don't have this. I don't have this opportunity. I, I'm telling you, you are you are honestly humbly enough. I say to you, you you are you are lucky enough because I I. I'm today what I am today. Yeah. When I did the Watin shows, oh yeah, I did the Watin shows. Like right? imagine, right? How many social media? Or how many media find to hunt, find me? Yeah. So many, everywhere. Yeah. I reject. Yeah. I don't reply. I do nothing. Mm. Because I don't like to be in the limelight. Mm. Uh, that's my character back then. When yeah. I was before I have. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. The only time that you you saw me, if you saw me me on Channel New Asia or the Channel Five. Channel Five News. Mm-hmm. Because I do not know that the woman, the lady that they interview me was from the television. Uh, I do not know. Yeah. Because everything was chaotic, so I just okay. Uh, yeah. Until then, people send me video that say I'm on the news. <laughs> yeah, basically I do not oh, know. Wow. So when I consult my friend, I say, "Why never tell me?" She was. I told you what. Oh, maybe I never hear. I And I do not know they're from the television, they're wow. from the uh, media corp, whatever. I do not mm-hmm. know at all. Mm-hmm. They have like. Mothership, they have this, they have that, and yeah. I say, so I'm sorry, I don't do interviews. Yeah. That's why if you see the show about Watin, yeah. nothing, nobody interviewed me, no, but me. interview and anyone else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, best not to answer lah this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah honestly, I mean, I'm, for honestly. me, I'm American kind of person. When when the, so technically problem arise, right? Or there is a problem. What I do is that I want to settle the problem rather than I, I hang on it. Mm. Hang on the problem. I rather mm. settle this problem and this media doesn't want to help me at all. Okay. So I want to settle this problem first. Yeah. And then I go with it. I want settle maybe, but then I also I never do. Okay. <laughs> I don't do. I just stick to my own self. I see. I see. Yeah. I see, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for thanks. Thank you so much. But thank you for the time and all you've done for the Singapore metal community. This is actually very cool that this stop this shop is still around lah in this day and age. You know. Yeah. I fu- hopefully I can stay here longer as long the building doesn't uh, be block and block and block okay. and yeah. Uh, the future is still here, lah. I mean, there's times I want to quit and stuff, but because I have friends and like you saw my, the guy who came here, the Indian yeah. guy, yeah, he was in my band. He's also contribute to this shop. Okay. Yeah, whatever we do in the shop is just to pay the rent mm. and keep going. That's yeah. all. Uh, that's all. You don't see me driving BMW. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been so long in here, 1998, but I don't. You don't see me driving like this. I still, I still work full time. Oh. I still oh. have my full time work. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So to be. To be, to be, uh, to give justice to myself, to tell people that I'm, I'm working, I'm working eight or five. Yeah. I have family at home, I have kids at home, yeah. to look after. So yeah. I only like three days, and I four or five hours with me. I see. Yeah. 
So I become like so precious, you know, like the timing. The to, timing with Carl. Yeah, the, <laughs> the timing with Carl. Time with Carl, Carl yeah, yeah. Wait, so like, just curious, does your wife or your children, do they also listen to this stuff or not? So no, 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 no. Not at all? No, 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 no. No, no, no influence. Uh, no influence. <laughs> no. I see them, inf uh, no influence, they're picking up, uh, they like guitars, they like things oh, okay. like, because when I was young, I play football, I play rugby. Yeah. I play a lot of sports. Mm. I play a lot of things. I go to the gym. So I see some talents. Like my one of my daughter who love, she loves to draw. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She loves to draw. She she's good in drawing. So mm. from there, uh, I can see her talent. Like mm -hmm. she she draw nicely and stuff. So another my son, look at drumming and stuff. Whenever mm -hmm. I give the toy drum, she he know to me. So I don't, I don't. Not say I don't want them to listen to metal, but whatever they listen is up to them. Okay. I don't want to initiate like I listen to this. No, no. Okay. No, I don't want to say it. I don't want to be like others. Technically, like uh, my son listen to this is a whim, whatever. No, never follow my footsteps. No. Mm. You see, like the guy from Spain, the yeah. father listened to death metal, black metal, but he sent to electronic. Electronic, yeah. So yeah. I don't want to force my kids. Okay. Like how my parents don't force me to listen to whatever they want or whatever they want to do. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Carl. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. <laughs>